sometimes you'll notice that the boot is not here at first, but a good way to suck up to catch them is up in the hanging soldiers. You may even have to go in here to find boomerang on some, some occasions. I'm gonna chase them off, those two boos off first. Finally caught Boomerang. <laughs> You'll notice that only 10 boos remain on my bottom screen, 40 out of 50 boos. Boo caster, boo story at 10. into the third floor corridor. But enough of that. Now that you've been the soldiers, this door is opened, and this elevator will take you to the roof of the entire mansion. This is the roof of the mansion. Immediately when you emerge from the elevator, these, these ghosts will be and start dancing. Like their usual way. The same way they did back in the ballroom on the, on the first floor. The, some of the pillars on the top have hearts that will come in handy. In addition to that, there's also a, a campfire. I find it hard to believe myself. And like a campfire on top of a mansion. Now I'm gonna start sucking up bees dancing. Ghost. Finally, the roof of the mansion will light up, and a treasure chest will appear over here. This key will lead to lead to the armory room on the third floor. I'm not gonna go there just yet. I'm gonna show you guys another secret. But however, this may not be a secret. I imagine that almost everybody who owns Luigi's Mansion, Luigi's Mansion, will know this secret. It's over here. You notice that there's a ladder that leads up to here. And this will lead to another secret room, the second one, which I call, which is I call the sealed room. Fall down the. Yeah! 
fall down a chimney and you'll land in the sealed room in a fireplace. The reason why it's called the sealed room is because, well, the door to it is sealed for unknown reasons. Why they would seal you in this room, I don't know. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys another secret. There was a, there's supposed to be a gold mouse ghost that appears right when you land in the fireplace, but that's only 20% chance. And since it did not happen, I was, I am unable to show it you guys. Sorry. This room can be quite similar to the, to the hen room in many ways. Like there are some treasure chests that contain cash or ghosts. This one can contain cash. Expect to find gold bars in the trophies and more cash in the treasure chests. Boy, there sure is a lot of expensive furniture in this room. So is the chandelier. But all it's got for me is a heart, which I don't really need right now. More cash for me. And in this chest is a rich ghost. A blue rich, rich ghost. Very easy to suck out. And this one has cash. More cash. Alright, so there's one more treasure chest, and this one is what activates the ghosts. So, better watch out in this part. A pink ghost, a blue ghost, an orange ghost, and a dangling purple ghost will appear, so you better you got your hands full right here. Blue ghost sure is strong though. Purple ghost should be no problem except for the little drop bombs on you, but that won't be any matter because now the lights are back on. And this chest contains a key. This will lead to the sitting room, which is only accessible if you've reached the sealed room. So, if you've reached the sealed room, you should be able to, to reach this, the other room, sitting room. Now, now that since the door is sealed, the big question is, how do you get out of here? Well, that's no problem, because... There's a mirror over here that you can use to teleport back to the foyer. Fortunately, there's no other way out, but at least there is one way. In fact, I'm going to take it any right now. There's no other purpose in here now. Now I'm going to save. We're going to head back up to the third floor 